and welcome everybody here on twitch chat and everybody on youtube for another donation deck we're calling this one professor discard we're going to be a discard deck that's also focused on professor von yip this four mana follower that whenever you summon a one cost ally you grant it plus two plus two so we want a whole lot of one cost allies and you can see that's what we got here um we have let's see three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen twenty one cost allies i guess three of those are rummages never mind 17 one cost allies so a whole bunch um and you can you can just kind of tell that like we're going to be emptying our hand really quickly with half of our deck costing one mana including the rummages um we do have like some some payoffs for discarding we, we have vision in here you know so like basically we, we want to empty our hand right away go wide you know discard vision um to grant our things plus one plus zero we also have jury rig another great card to discard um yeah you know, like that's what we're trying to do and so we're trying to empty our hand really quickly and i think that we will be able to because of having so many cheap cards and so bes besides professor von yip our other payoff with this deck is jinx because if we empty our hand then jinx will level up so like if you think about jinx's level up like this is an amazing card like let's just say that you just saw a card that said it's a four mana five four quick attack you're like whoa like that's i mean four mana four four was too good and that got or sorry three i guess that was three mana four four that was too good they got nerfed never mind but yeah five four mana five four quick attack and then also at the beginning of the round you get to just draw an extra card you're like well that's amazing and then also if you empty your hand you get to just create a super mega death rocket you know like a one mana withering whale you're like what that card's really busted and so that's what we're going to be trying to do so we're really going to be trying to get this leveled up jinx because that is an incredible card um but the cost is you have to empty your hand and we have a deck that can empty the hand pretty quickly so yeah so that's what we got going on here um also just because we have so many cheap cards and it's easy for us to empty our hand we're going to be running out of gas so we got a couple of progress days to gas back up then finish it out with some burn spells mystic shock get excited and some other pump spells with the brothers bonds so let's see i am a little skeptical on the deck if it will work out or not i really hope so we're going to give it a shot we're going to go play five games over in ranked like always um, and I hope it works out. I think this, you know, can, uh, we do, we, we do know from the last, uh, balance patch, um, announcement, the patch one five, they did say that in patch one six, which is going to be next week, they did plan on having, um, I'm going to get rid of this and this and this, get rid of all those. They did plan on having um, the discard, like discard cards get buffed. And so that'll be interesting to see what that looks like. So this is a match that's going to be playing a ton of cheap removal, which honestly, if, if you're playing Ezreal Twisted Fate and you say, what is one deck that you would love to play against i think what you would say would be a deck that has nothing but one mana one ones <laughs> they would absolutely love to play against the one mana one ones this is a pretty horrible first matchup but we're gonna still you know be trying it out seeing if seeing how we can do what's up boot thanks for that resub second sub of the day so cards like brothers bond and vision these are not the cards that we're going to be wanting in this matchup because their deck is just all removal and they're going to be killing all of our stuff anyway Hey, what's up, Nutter? It's Aloha Friday. Sending some Aloha to the stream. I always like 
uh, I am Nutter's messages. You know, yesterday we had Thankful Thursday. I like Thankful Thursday. Now we have Aloha Friday. That as well. Hold it, partner. Well, I'm really glad they didn't kill my Professor Von Yip right away and that we were able to play the 1 mana 5-3. Definitely very glad that that happened. Looks like trouble. I certainly thought about trying to, uh, um, like, trying to block and then bait out some kind of spell and then Mystic Shots, but I'm a little worried about, like, I don't, I don't think that they would have the suit up card, but I'm still a little worried about that. Brothers Bond and Vision are just our worst cards. They really are. Really the cards that I don't want. Especially Brothers Bond. Vision we can at least discard. And get some kind of value out of the discard. I'm not playing... Oh, it has to be two allies? Okay, there we go, I was gonna say. I'm not playing Jinx until Jinx is leveled up. Yeah, my cards aren't any good. I don't know why. Give them Brothers Bond. You take Brothers Bond and Vision, please. Oh, I was... Hoping they would tap down lower than... Oh, they tapped down lower than that because of Thermogenic Beam. Hopefully, they, there's only three cards in their hand, and they've already played one Thermogenic Beam, so maybe they don't have one. Yay. So yeah, I, I know I could have I could have done the Jinx first and then try to bait a removal spell like bait a three damage removal spell and then play Vision, but I I don't think I don't think that's really much of a quote unquote bait. I don't, I don't think that I don't think many people would really fall for that. of me playing Jinx and not, and they would know it's a leveled up Jinx. I was hoping, I played it first because I was hoping they would spend a little bit more mana so if they had a Thermogenic Beam, they wouldn't be able to kill Jinx, a 5-4. I was more worried about that. I mean, I'll just keep drawing two cards a turn. If you want to draw one card a turn, that's fine with me. We'll just keep drawing two. And attacking. 
cool thing. Seems perfectly fine. We'll draw two, you draw one. We don't, like, have to empty our hand every single turn or anything like that. See, now we talking. It's not another, wasn't another Riptide Rex. Don't like that. As of on, yep. No. We are kind of out grinding the Ezreal deck, though. Like, I mean, we're both in, in top deck mode now. We want. To, we only have nine cards left. There's another Jinx. There's another Progress Day. are good cards to draw. That is... That is very bad for me. Boys. That was really my opponent winning that top, that first top deck war. Wow. You're disrupting my research. 
They won that one pretty good. So now I gotta kill them in seven more cards. Easier said than done. For six. No, they stole a daring pearl. Why are they stealing the best stuff? Uh, they're just stealing the best stuff. This last card has to be Jinx, right? Like, I, I'm pretty sure that last card is Jinx, because we've only seen two, and they can't, you know, they can't steal champion, so I'm fairly confident that last card's Jinx. Man, this Urchin doesn't do anything. I'm not going to block everything in case of a Rex top deck. I have to kill them next turn. I have to do six damage to them next turn. Rex top deck doesn't matter, because... They have Rex top deck. I lose. Like that doesn't. I don't. I don't care about that. It's how do we do six damage to them? Which I. Now I've lost my place. Rex top deck literally doesn't matter. That means I can't do six damage to them. My only hope is doing four with these and them drawing two. Puff I don't know. Do they draw two puff caps and lose, and then I also draw and lose? I don't know how this works. Ah, uh, they didn't draw two puff caps. We'll get him next time. Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't think about the rocket. So if I would have just attacked for three and not not played the Teemo, I was I was thinking about like the Teemo puff caps. If I if I just attack for three, then I use the urchin to discard my Teemo and have Jinx and then Rocket. I mean it's if they have any removal I lose, but if if their card isn't a removal spell, I could have one with that. That's true. I didn't I didn't think of that line. It's gonna be no champion Shadow Isles Ionia. Yeah, that, that was super close, right? That was a game that, you know, it looked like we really had no chance with them having like six or seven cards in hand, and then, and I just had the one jinx, but us pack, passing back and forth for a little while, refilling our hands. Um, yeah, that game did end up being a lot closer than it likely should have been. Hmm. A foray into the field? How exciting! Darn. Really wish I didn't play anything and I just Mystic shot that thing. That's too bad. Anything else? <laughs> it's 
It's possible that I shouldn't just be throwing down all these one drops. And I should be waiting. Waiting for... Professor Vaughn, yep. <laughs> well, there is Professor Vaughn, yep. I basically want this team to start striking for three. Which is why I'm going with this line. That's true. It's always a good game when you get to play your whole deck. That's true. Alright, so I'm trading... I'm basically making this Mystic Shot a 2 for 1, right? Like, I'm... I'm not letting them draw 2 cards. So I'm, I'm basically trading that Mystic Shot for killing both of... Like, the next 2 cards in their deck. Especially when I I'm all I'm already all in on the Teemo. I need I can't really can't really afford for them to find answers for Teemo. People really like emoting against <laughs> against like silly decks. Well, Brash Gamblers and Bilgewater, we can't play that card. Four puff caps. Darn. If they didn't have that Will of Ionia, you know, we would have hit him for that extra four damage with that four one Teemo. And heck, our, our other team would have been leveled up and gave them a bunch more puff caps. You know, they just didn't have that Will of Ionia. Hey, Mini. Um, yeah, maybe I wasn't supposed to throw down so many one-mana cards right away because we did end up drawing that Professor. This is the problem with the deck, honestly. Vision and Brothers Bond are just so bad. Ugh. That's kind of the problem with our deck. Those two cards are... They have really just been completely useless. I, I wish they weren't completely useless, but they have been. Um... Oh, 
Okay, this is like, yeah, like this is this is like where vision can be useful. Time for a leap of faith. Oh no, I need to discard the jury rig first. Okay, well that's that's lesson learned by me. I need so you need to choose the jury rig first and have that discard. This should be a two-one. Lesson learned there by me. Please don't have Elixir of Iron. Please don't have Elixir of Iron. Come on. Never lucky. I'm kind of holding these two in case we draw Professor Von Yip. And I'm not killing the Berg, so I'd rather this Jerry Rig block the Blade Scout. Never lucky. Slippery. You call that sneaky? My collection. Extra hands never hurt. I brought my books. Hope that's all right. Yep. Where are you? Nothing but a footnote. Where are you, Von Yep? Progress day is pretty sweet. Another day in the Going to turn seven, so we're not gonna be able to play another progress day yet. I do like that mystic shots being able to take down one of these three twos. Surprise? 
Ouch. I think I have to use my 3-2 Challenger to try to kill Zed. And I think I need to keep Professor Von Yip in play. So I guess that means that we have to block with Teemo. Even though obviously I didn't want to block with anything. I wish I had one more man and I could play Von Yip and Daring Poro. I do have the Get Excited still. Our deck has looked pretty powerful here, still, you know, staying in this. Never mind. I guess I had to play Get Excited first, and then Daring Poro second. I can't... There's nothing that I can do that can stop these two elusives. Dang. We cannot get we cannot get the rocket this turn. I mean if we could they would still just go to attacks and didn't have the ability to. Yeah, the Windfarer buffed. The Windfarer hit a couple Omen Hawks, and so it was buffed to be a 6 4. And so, like, that's why I played, like, the 5 5 anyway. I wasn't that scared of Windfarer Hatchling because I was like, all right, well, if they have Windfarer Hatchling, we have, like, even if they have that card, we have Get Excited to kill the Hatchling, but their Hatchling was buffed twice, so it was a 6 4, so now I might get excited and kill it. No, I mean, I, if I if I just cast Get Excited, instead of casting my 5-5, five five, if I just ca cast Get Excited and kill the 2-2, two two, then they go 6-4, win pair hatchling, and then I play my 5-5, five five, then I can block. I'm, you know, I just wasn't really prepared for that, obviously. But that was something I could have done differently. Tomorrow and Sunday, I'm not going to play any donation decks, and I'm going to just play decks that I like and will be ranking up. And we're looks like we're going to start at the very bottom of Diamond, and we're going to, for tomorrow and Sunday, uh, just get out of Diamond and go to Masters. And I'll just play, yeah, just like we did the last rank up Sunday, I'm, I'm going to just play decks that I make for tomorrow and Sunday.
Yeah, I probably should have played this deck on Meme Tier Monday. I wanted to, but I didn't want to. Wow. The person that donated for it didn't say that it was necessarily, and so I didn't want to. I didn't want to, like, insult them. If they, if they thought that would be an insult, I don't know. So I played it today. Thermogenic beam was certainly unexpected. Did not expect that thermogenic beam. Can we burn them out? Well, me yeah, meme tier decks I usually play in normal. I feel like I should have played this deck in normal. But it's not like it's not like this is the only deck doing bad today. So. Don't want them to play two spells. I really don't want them to play two spells. Good. So I don't want them to get that draggling. Where there is life, there is hope. Yeah, they, they have health potions and denies and things like that. I don't think it's just we have eight points of burn there at eight, go fire it off kind of thing and just expect it to work. And of course they have the draglings that are also things that heal. Brother's Bond is the worst possible card for me to draw. It's just the worst card in our deck. Brother's Bond needs to go. It really does. This is not a, a constructed playable card. Not good enough in constructed decks. Okay, good. We found a use for the Brothers Bond. We can discard it. The Order rewards its faithful. Anything else? <laughs> they cannot hide.
All right, Gangplank Burn will be next. They only have three more puff caps in their deck, so it's not like I can I can hope that they draw a lot more because there's only three. What is gained when you return malevolence? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I could have could have not could have ignored the karma and just tried to throw all the burn at them. Don't know if that, you know, maybe that would have worked. I mean, we do know that one get excited was getting denied. You know, maybe, and they deny like a mystic shot or something. Like we knew, we know something was going to get denied. But, I mean, that's so. I would have been able to do it like an extra three. You know, there's really only one burn spell that hit the karma that could have hit them. That's only three damage there at six. Maybe that plus the mystic shot could have put them down to one. Maybe they didn't have, you know, like they didn't have another deny then for the mystic shot. And if they don't have a health potion, and if um, And if they draw one puff cap with the three puff caps and 19 cards. Yeah, this, this is really awkward, isn't it? Like, we... If you want to play your stuff and put pressure on them, then you don't get to get any Professor Bonus. So we're just gonna. I'm glad we drew the jinx. That's kind of what what we need is more jinxes. Uh, we're just gonna be emptying our hands and hoping uh, that we can, you know, play four mana five four basically. Like I wouldn't really mind a rummage and maybe discard Professor Von Yip to get out of hand. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I guess we could go Professor on four, Jinx on five as well. The only reason to play that is they're going to play two spells. And I don't I don't think that's a good play by my opponent. I'm really glad they do that. Now this draggling does nothing. Now they just, you know, the health potion just canceled out this draggling. They basically just used two cards to kill Teemo. By one drop. So 
So how are we getting uh, our hand empty? I got ways to find in mushroom. I'm getting rid of this vision. I draw a rummage or something. The urchin. Unfortunately, they didn't have to use a real spell, and they had the Chump Womp and got to just use Mushroom Cloud, and so got to play that for free. That's unfortunate. Gonna be going wide. I definitely considered playing the vision there, you know, playing the vision and blocking, but I want the vision to be to uh, have those things as well. And yeah, at least the the good thing about having all these one mana cards is we are making my opponent's removal super awkward. And I know I know this is weird to be doing that right then, but I want to be able to play Jinx and my next card, and instead of wasting that extra two mana. This is just the most likely way to be able to play Jinx and the next card. Breathe in, breathe out. Come on. Well, obviously completely punish, because if I just don't if I just don't play the vision, then we have the vision to discard to the get excited, and we have the exact man you know, we have just completely punished. Could not have gone worse. That's the story of today, though. Every everything that we do today just cannot go worse. That is the exact story of today. Yeah, we draw that get excited, which is horrible. They drew the, the static shock, which is the best card. Uh. So they have used two thermogenic beams or three? One, two, two. They've played two thermogenic beams so far. Just you and me, fishbones. So that's good. So that's it's less likely they're gonna be able to kill Jinx easy. <laughs> I still want to level up Jinx in hand. Opponent, just do stuff. Thank you. Now 
know, my opponent playing super slow is not helping. No, because I whenever I'm playing, I'm emptying my hand before I play Jinx. So I get the four damage in on them. That's not bad. One shot, all skill. The dragon remembers. Darn. I saw they would play something before combat. Because if they would have played something before combat, then I could have had Super Mega Death Rock and just kill both of these, and I wouldn't have to block. But I kind of have to block, because otherwise we die with this Ezreal. This is unfortunate. Just can't take the damage. That's unfortunate. As you can see, Brothers Bond still useless. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. That's the. We have some powerful stuff going on with this deck. But Brothers Bond is is honestly completely useless. That that card needs to go. It could just be like a seven of clubs, and it'd be doing the exact same thing. My spirit is an unquenchable fire. Yeah, I know one Mystic Shot kills us with eight damage with these two. That, that's why I mean that's why I blocked those other threes also is to try to stay try to stay a little bit higher life total. Uh, that's dead. Yeah, or just any two spells. Yeah, good game. Your your deck super good. We do know that next week some discard stuff will be buffed. Um, we do have some powerful things in our deck. As we talked about, Brothers Bond, that needs to be a relevant card. That's That card's not relevant whatsoever. Vision's already pretty tough. Vision's not very good either. It's already pretty tough playing Vision. Um, but I think you can have like maybe three of that effect, and having six of that effect is is just really bad. Um, so yeah, lots lots of things you can play. I would probably play another. I would probably play a third progress day, and then maybe like maybe a couple of noxion fervors, maybe. Maybe some flame chompers. We didn't always have very good things to just like 
in our deck jury rig and division are the only two things that are good to discard and we have three get excited and three rummage so we have a lot of like things that we want to discard oh and also the urchins so maybe just play a couple flame I, that's what i'd probably do is i'd probably just play two flame chompers that we can discard them and we actually get the o2 challenger that can be useful um and some progress days definitely would be nice if flame choppers just cost one mana so then that, it would work with professor von yip so it's always going to be that o2 but still just being the o2 can help other things uh get across um so that's what that's what i recommend changing is get rid of those brothers bonds that were never anything and just you know at least we can get some o2s and another progress day i think i think that's where um, I would go with that, but, uh, we'll have to see what happens next week with these discard cards. If they do, um, improve some, maybe Jinx gets buffed. Um, you know, maybe some of these other discard cards gets buffed. That's what they, um, said at patch one five. Uh, so yeah, augmented experimenter is okay i think you can basically like i don't think i don't know if you if you can really play like a bunch of augmented experimenters and a bunch of progress days i think you can kind of do one or the other and i was pretty happy with progress day and with like the spell mana um for that but yeah their exact language was say, saying that they're going to be reworking discard units to increase their satisfaction and usability so that'll be pretty interesting to see what that means these are basically the discard units. And so it, reworking these, basically probably like these four right here to increase their satisfaction and usability. So we saw the, the Mage Seekers got completely overhauled whenever those were changed. You know, like the six mana Mage Seeker turned into a two mana one and so on. So like we could see some huge changes to all of these discard um, these discard units. But all right, that's Professor Discard. They don't always work out. I was really hoping it would work out. I was scared it wouldn't. It's just metagame and like the other decks are so powerful compared to what this is. It's this is a really cute, um, uh, you know, real cute deck, and we got to do some cool stuff. It's just, it, it's just the. We have like 25 good cards in here and we need 40, you know, it's like we just had, you know, whether it was the Brothers Bond or the Vision or like just random one drop that, you know, like we just didn't have everything working smoothly and powerfully and, um, you know, didn't uh, didn't work. All right. But anyway, that's it here for Professor Discard. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.